Alright, so this is what's up with this clay model right now. We have to put him in the oven because he's done being sculpted, so I would not try and stand him up in any way, shape, or form because too many times in the past have clay models fallen over. To be very safe, we made a hole with the toothpick in the tail, so we're going to take the tail off and we can super glue that on when he comes out of the oven. Second, I was kind of doing that pose with the leg and stuff, but um, it just... If you want him to stand up, or at least you could, you know, be able to make a stand for him later on and actually keep his legs in, more or less. Um, I'm just really not going to pose this guy a whole lot because, um, pretty much, you know, his position is all dependent on whether or not he's going to stand. So, I'm kind of just going to reposition the legs so they're in, a, you know, a standing position. And I guess you guys can kind of use your creativity, too. You know, you can... Maybe do some different things with um, his hands and his position and stuff. For me, I think I'm kind of going to hold his gun up like this now. Just make sure that no toothpicks or anything um, show through. But, you know, just based on the criteria and what we've been given and stuff, you know, uh, you can kind of just fool around with him. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make him kind of stand up like this. And then I still wouldn't cook him like that, but... You know, you can lay him down like that, and then when he comes out of the oven, we can determine if we need a stand or not, and we can glue the tail back on. So I'm going to go put him in the oven, and we'll see what we have to do when he comes out. Alright, so here we go. Here's the baked result, and I said I was going to glue the tail on, so once again, I use Loctite Super Glue. A little bit on the tip should do it, and you're kind of going to have to, you know, put it in the hole pretty much, and then kind of just spin it around until it was... Um, how you originally put it in, so. And that should drive in like 30 seconds, but considering it's kind of an inside fix and not like an arm. Um, wow, that was really uncanny timing. Um, wow, maybe... Alright. Well, Fate, you want to play that game? Then I'll just use super glue. Yeah, um... I guess maybe I didn't put the legs on very well, and they decided to fall off right now. Uh, I, that was that was kind of above the camera anyway. All right, so that was an inside fix as well. So, um, I think putting this in the oven as I did was probably the best way to do it. Um, at certain kind of angles, or right, well, I guess not really anymore because. He doesn't really... Well, I guess he stands up kind of over there, but... Uh, in general, I guess he really doesn't stand up. So this is what I would suggest to you guys. And that's make a like, little stand like this or whatever. Kind of push him down on a flat surface with the stand on. Uh, carefully peel it off. Put it in the oven, and then when it comes out, it'll be hard. And you can glue him onto the stand and then on top of the stand. So I actually might do that. Um, but I don't really need to show it for the camera because uh, you guys can all do that. So, um, I guess I'll kind of talk about my final thoughts for this fox. So, I think this is a pretty cool fox. Um, I'm glad kind of we ended up doing this as a, as a first tutorial because this was actually one of the tutorials that um, I said I did a couple over the summer. And this was actually one of them that I originally did. But it failed so bad that I, you know, wanted to do it again. So, just for the fun of it, I actually have the fox right here that failed. So, this guy. <laughs> yeah, this is the fox that I did over the summer that looks really, really bad. Um, I really don't like that. It wasn't really... I was loosely using Star Fox 64 3D artwork, but it was... Yeah, I didn't have the right colors. So, again, after restock and stuff... We got this guy, and I think it looks really authentic to the Nintendo 64 style. Uh, just really nice. So, actually, I guess I guess if you if you didn't want to stand, you could kind of just lean him back on his tail like that. But again, if you wanted to stand, then you could do what I was talking about, and he's actually standing now because I'm on a slope surface where you know it's not very level. Anyway, so um, my final thought to this model. Um, First off, this is kind of probably going to be collective. First off, sorry for any kind of off-camera slash um, kind of fumbles like with the legs falling off and stuff. But again, you can just use super glue for that. But um, my bad for any of those kind of technical errors because, like I said, uh, I haven't done a clay tutorial since, or a successful one, since July of... Wow. Oh my god. 
I haven't done one since January, sorry, to J-Month, so, um, it's been quite a while, and I, you know, with the ones that failed over the summer, I really have to get back into it, so sorry if, you know, anything like that. Um, I know that I said we were going to do kind of a 64-bit style, we really didn't do that, um, kind of just in more of the simplistic details we did that, but not actually, like, sculpting, you know, with blocks and stuff, so, my bad for that, but, um, it's still, you know looks like Fox from the the game. Also, kind of, like I said, going along with the kind of fumbles in terms of the camera and stuff, um, I feel like I could have been a bit more precise with how I kind of showed certain things. Like, at the very end, I'm like, oh, you can change his pose or whatever if you want to, and that was just because I couldn't really get him to stand, you know, the way I wanted to. And that's, again, what the stand could come in for later. So, um, my apologies for all that, but hopefully you guys still found this to be an easy tutorial to make or whatever, a, a, an easy, or a nice first, you know, getting back into a tutorial. And hopefully in the coming weeks they'll be a little bit better, like I said, uh, I'm just trying to get back into it. So, um, thanks for watching anyway, and I hope you guys found this an easy way to sculpt Fox from Star Fox 64. So aside from all my errors and kind of flub ups, I hope you still enjoyed and learned something from this experience. I know I did. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm L Supersonic Hugh, and until the next clay tutorial, which will be next weekend, Finn.